Hey guys, this is Trey, back with another video, and today I'll be showing you my RO, or reverse osmosis system, I'm using for maple syrup, and I'll talk to you more about that now. Alright, so you can see, this is my RO, or again, reverse osmosis system I built, and I'm using this for maple syrup. You can see I'm boiling over there, I have a whole bunch of pallets, thanks to my dad and my grandpa for picking them up, and this week alone, I got roughly 100 gallons of sap which is just insane and that's all because i added that route 31 south place in that really nice deli the guy is super nice so if you ever have a chance and you're in this area make sure you come check them out because they're so nice and he's just awesome and they they really let me tap the trees which i got about 40 gallons alone from their trees this week which is just insane so anyway back to the ro system you can see i'm running at just over 100 psi you can see here is the the bad stuff this is the wastewater and then here is the concentrated sap so you can see i have it running at about a two to one ratio two parts of clean water and to one part of reverse osmosis sap so what this system is doing is it's taking this sap in here you can see it's pretty clear i just collected it today actually from my neighbor's house shout out to my neighbors thank them for uh letting me tap their trees too but you can see i have this tank full of regular sap so let's say this has one and a half percent sugar in it after it goes through this whole entire system it comes out this tube at three percent sugar so it comes out a lot or has a lot more sugar when it comes out and that's why it's so much better so let's say i have 10 gallons in there i can bring that down to five gallons and then that five gallons will still make the same amount of syrup as the 10 gallons because all this machine is doing is it's pulling out some of the water just like that is evaporating that's that steam and everything that's all water being evaporated just like this these filters are evaporating the water so to speak and taking out some water so that you have just pure ro water and then you have concentrated sap so this actually i've been having problems with this i built it and i couldn't get anything to come out this yellow and i just messed with it this whole weekend with my uncle cork thank you if you're watching thank you for trying to help me out there it was this it was this pressure this needle valve sorry this needle valve that messed me up i couldn't build pressure in there i was only sitting at about 20 psi and i could only hold 20 psi this whole chamber was filling up with air it was so weird we moved everything around nothing would work so thankfully again my grandpa actually bought me this needle valve and it's been working so much better and you can see that's what controls this i might actually have to turn it up a little bit and that's just with this valve and that's what's keeping it at 100 psi which is awesome so this whole system is working really well and i'll update you once i have a lot more filtered through all right so you can see this is about almost half full and this is pretty much full so i'm gonna keep this ratio right now you can see it's just a little bit under half so i think it's gonna be pretty good and you can see like i said it's about a two to one ratio maybe a little bit under which is fine but you can actually see the difference i don't know on camera if you can see this is cloudier than this you can see that is the pure water and that is the concentrated sap so this is awesome and i could a i actually tasted it and you could taste the difference too this one the sap actually tasted sweeter and the water this just tasted like pure water which it should so it's pretty awesome i'll update you once i have a lot more done all right so it's a couple hours later and you can see i did roughly about a gallon and a half of concentrated sap to probably a gallon and a half of water which is pretty good and this was just a little test run you can see i'm just cleaning out the whole system right now and then i'm going to clean the system out by sorry put the light down by taking the intake and putting the intake in this pure water and that is why i saved the water because now we're gonna just run the system back with this clear water which will just clean the whole entire filters and that's basically how you do maintenance on this so i'm gonna go ahead and you can see 
I have to boil a little bit more. So I still have a good amount of sap in here. Probably went down halfway, but I need to add more sap to the evaporator. So that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Thank <music> you.